Hi, my name's Holly Kleindings. I work for the Kaibab National Forest and I'm the forest fuel specialist. Uh, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about fire danger and what that relates to to our fire danger waving signs in the woods and then how that in turn leads to things like uh, forest restrictions on campfires and things like that. Our fire danger rating signs, we use the National Fire Danger Rating System to do that and it's really based mostly on uh, how dry the fuels are in the forest, how hot it is out there, what the potential is for fire behavior, and um, if, there's, if there's increasing numbers of people in the forest that could cause starts. And so as through the year, we track the, uh, how dry those fuels are, and as they start to increase, we start to increase the staffing that we have from our fire personnel. And when it gets to certain levels, and we anticipate lots of folks in the woods with more of a chance for starts, uh, we start to increase those fire danger rating signs from low through moderate to high. Some years we reach very high and when we reach those top three percent of the hottest driest days of the year that's when you'll see us change our fire danger rating signs to extreme. When we're in the moderate range uh, we know that we're starting to get increased numbers of folks in the forest but the fuels really aren't at their peak dryness of the year. As we start getting towards the peak dryness of the, the pine needles and the sticks that are out there in the woods, then we start moving towards more of a high danger rating. And as we get into unusually dry conditions, then we move to very high and extreme. What it really means is how careful they need to be with their activities in the forest. At a moderate fire danger, having a, fi a campfire is okay. Usually we're not in any kind of restrictions yet, and they want to take caution with putting those fires out. But that's really the greatest risk is escape campfires or uh, cigarette butts that may light a fire. When we start moving into high, we often start moving into restrictions and we start limiting uh, where people can have campfires in the forest. And sometimes that even leads to whether they can have motorized equipment that might ignite a fire as well.